Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to this Cossack 3 video in which I am playing against the famous demon or as you know him on his YouTube channel possibly Demonicus or Demon One Cus. I, I don't have a clue how to pronounce it. Basically it's Demon the number one and then Cus on the end. And it's just a normal battle um, Four opponents, me, him and two AI on hard difficulty, free for all, we're on a um, continent map so one big island in the middle and water surround us but I don't think any of us actually build boats so there'll be no sea battles in this, it's all just land battles, millions of resources which I don't realise until about a few minutes into the video but yeah, playing with um, against Demon, um, he's a brilliant YouTuber, um, not as brilliant as me but you know he's he's good enough <laughs> I'm joking he's good um, he uploads Cossacks of his own videos um, Cossack 3 back to war does brilliant campaign tutorials for those um, and Empire Earth and um, something else as well what is it? Age of Wonders so if you're interested in any of those games then check out his channel in the description below and now it's time to just get on with the normal video so yeah building up five barracks I chose to choose a random nation and as always whenever I choose random nation it's almost always Turkey which is very annoying but oh well it, it chose Turkey again and that is an enemy that's our closer start it's about a 20 second um, walk well watching them walk to w until they get to their nation so it's a good thing and it's a bad thing as well I start to in my pikemen as soon as possible once I notice that all they need right now is one soldier and I'm dead so yeah but then again all I need is one soldier and they're dead so yeah I took my advantage sent in just two pikemen very early on to try and kill some peasants it, it worked brilliantly um, yeah just trying to get a very big army out build my academy I want to get two up so I can research two technologies at the same time and you can see me now killing my AI opponent there don't show much of a battle because I'm really trying to get as many soldiers out as possible so that I can actually win this because it would be a bit embarrassing if I ended up losing this game yep, so blown up the first building already that should really slow my enemies down which is good getting three barracks is up now and I think two, nope, almost two stables um, I actually only depot but I only train a few mortars at the end to just blow up some buildings um, yep, training my cavalry, get these final technologies and make my units as strong as possible um, yep, build buildings quicker always good so there's no battles going on right now I decided to pull my troops back a bit and have a bit of a build up, get some improvement technologies researched I do know there's two other enemies, Demon and the other AI very close by so wanting to keep my soldiers at least relatively in my own city to, to defend against them but I'm lucky they don't actually attack so marching in now very slowly but it's fast enough they have the musketeers which is a very big mistake um, by the AI that when it's millions of resources this close you do not have time to train musketeers you just gotta get as many pikemen as possible out there get mercenaries out if you want gunpowder units then get grenadiers from the diplomatic center or dragoons but it's all about pikemen and um, actual fighting cavalry in later game of course you do need musketeers but they take far too slow in this early process yeah, and one thing that um, I have just mostly noticed that it's millions of resources yet I still build mines I still get peasants working food, still get them chopping down trees I don't know why I do that it's all pointless because I'm on millions of resources anyway but you know, might as well it, it, it keeps me entertained more getting all those buildings built even though I don't need to yep so that's light blue dead um, sending my cavalry up just to run down a few of his peasants. 
hand. Then the captured, I think, Austrian peasants. Yeah, they are Austrians. Um, I used to build barracks of my own, so that just doubles my amount of unit production once they're built. Which is, of course, very good. I highly recommend capturing peasants. I don't always do it. Usually I just like to delete them. But, yeah, for, for once, maybe I should just capture them. And that's what I do. So, Light Blue's lost everything now. There still have a few units around that I do notice. And Demon now is coming with his army. Um, just about 20 cavalry units. Uh, send back some pikemen to start him out. They don't do, my pikemen don't do that well at first, but once they send a second group, get them upgraded, then they just slaughter him. And also now Demon has revealed his position by attacking from south to north, so therefore I know he's in the south east of the map, or um, bottom right if you prefer it like that. So I go send my armies down there quite a big army, get the final raids of them sorted out and I um, clearly just slaughter him. I don't think he actually knew I was recording so when I told him it was quite funny that I, I told him that I'd beaten him. <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah, then I stupidly delete my own captured barracks so the enemy don't build it but I actually need that barracks to train soldiers of my own in the Austrian things I've captured myself, so yeah, that was a big mistake. Sending my armies, um, sending a small task force here of cavalry to try and distract Demon into sending his armies the other way, and then I send my main force to the other side of the city as a distraction, so yeah. These good manoeuvring tactics are always good. Have a cavalry charge at him now. You, you can see him commenting on the left hand side of the screen, I would have been replying back but it takes ages to type and I mean, you press a letter in and it appears about 2 or 3 seconds later so yeah, my, my typing skills over there were very small. It starts to um, really lag out a bit right now. That's the only problem I've got with this game. Um, I think it's more of the online stuff though now, rather than the actual game itself not being able to run the graphics. Yeah, it just completely slaughtered him. I send then a, my third army down to destroy the other AI player, who doesn't really have much. Um, yeah, it is easy. So, at this point, I'm rather confident that I've won, and it's true I have won. Just capture all his buildings, finish him off. Um, it doesn't surrender, which in a way is a good thing. It keeps training soldiers, so I've got to bring some grenadiers and mortars down and just keep bombarding him. Destroy all his buildings, and then I do win. That final part where it's just me blowing him up, um, that's done in two times speed just to get a move on with it. Yeah, so there's Blue's territory, the final AI enemy. My soldiers are there just to... Um, my soldiers are fine to just stand there and fight to the end. I don't know if he was trying to build a boat and trying to escape from them, but he can't escape from me. So uh, kill his peasants over there, that well, we're trying to build a shipyard. The main army you can see on the minimap is just marching down to destroy the other AI player. I don't know why I researched that improved wood gathering technology, it's completely pointless but I've got it in my head now that just to build the economy up as fast as possible so yeah. I am an idiot when it comes to some of these things. Getting more grenadiers. I know he's not just gonna surrender the aim and I don't have to fight to the end, so let's blow him out of his home, I was thinking. Yeah. 
that's um, that enemy mostly gone right now. Um, I'll then add a slight recording error. Right, so. Yeah, I think I'm at the right place now. The video might seem a couple of seconds out. Um, basically, uh, there's a piece of editing that I forgot to do. It's now in two times speed. You can probably tell by the sounds. Um, Demon commenting something. I can't see why it is. Hopefully, he's keeping his language appropriate. Um, otherwise, I, I might blur. No, I won't blur it out. But yeah. Um, can see a long line on the minimap of my grenadiers. I tried to type in a comment, but it takes ages. I'm actually typing at normal speed right now, but it's not bringing out the letters, so I just think I'll bring out something basic, like a smiley face, or... Yeah, this is, this is the fastest I can possibly type right now. That's how bad the chat is. Yeah, I think I've won. That is refusing to give up. Oh, I just hit my microphone. I hate it when that happens. Destroy everything he owns. Burn him down. Yeah, look how the barracks just falling down there as my grenadiers throw their grenades onto it. I don't know why when I said that I pretended I had a grenade and was throwing it, you can't see me, and if you did, I just look like a weirdo pretending to throw a grenade. So, yeah, I look like a weirdo now. Yeah, I do the same with mustard tears. Whenever I mention mustard tears, I like pretend I'm holding a gun for some reason, as if I'm speaking some sort of sign language to you. But nah, it doesn't work. It's pointless doing that. <laughs> yep. So I think is that his last barracks? No, he's got another one better than many stables. Stables aren't that difficult to destroy. I think he deletes his own buildings actually, or the game deletes them for him realising that he's lost. I, I do like that mechanic where, um, that they've implemented um, into Cross X3, where if a player's clearly lost, then you don't have to keep on destroying them and waste your time. Their buildings just set on fire and you win. I do like that, it really helps to speed it up a little bit at the end when it's a little bit slower. I can think of many instances in Cossacks Back to War where that would have been helpful. So anyway, coming to the end of the video now as you can probably tell. Hope you enjoyed it, like if you have, check Demon's channel out, um, makes other great videos. If you, if you ever want a tutorial on the campaigns, he's always the best to um, check out. Hope you enjoyed this video, like it if you have, and good bye.